Hi there, welcome to today's video tutorial and in this video we are going to be answering the 2017 sex question paper 1 both for internal and GCE. Follow me closely as we solve these questions together. To kick start our lesson we are going to start with sets paper 1 2017 internal and the first question in this paper said shade B complement intersection A intersection C in the Venn diagram in the answer space shade B complement intersection A intersection C in the Venn diagram in the answer space. So we have been given this Venn diagram within our answer space and they want us to shade B complement intersection A intersection C. So what do we do there? First and foremost we are going to see we are simply shading. We are simply shading we are not solving anything, but we are shading. So we are first of all going to start by shading B complement, and then we are going to shade A intersection C in that way. Then where are the lines for B complement and A intersection C complement are going to overlap or cross each other, that will indicate the area where the combination of B complement intersection A intersection C is going to lie. Instead of drawing or rather answering straight away on our Venn diagram in the answer space, let's come up with a small Venn diagram which we are going to use just for our uh, for, for, for for lines purposes and then we are going to shade the final on this other side A, B, C So now we are shading B complement B is here If this is our B B complement means everything that is outside B So literally we we'll do this Everything that is outside That is B complement, leaving out B and shading everything that is outside B. Now let's shade A intersection C. A intersection C. So this is our A. Set A is here. And set C is there. So A intersection C is this part here. That is A intersection C, just that part. So let's share that part using uh, vertical lines. We are done. We've shaded B complement and we have shaded A intersection C. And earlier on, when we begin, we began, I mentioned that when we shade the lines, or when we shared B complement and we shared A intersection C, the region or area where the lines for or the shading for B complement is overlapping with the shading for A intersection C, that is our region which we should shade on our Venn diagram in the answer space. And there is only one region or one area within this uh, small Venn diagram that we've, we, we, we've come up with where these lines are overlapping. That area is right here. Just here. So there is only this small area where the lines are overlapping. 
this area is what represents B complement intersection A intersection C. So we are going to share it as well. We only drew that so that we can see how the lines are overlapping and then where the two lines are meeting each other so you can bring it in the answer space to indicate our answer or rather to indicate B complement intersection A intersection C. Having shaded in our first question, let's go to our question B. Question B says, given that E, which is the universal set, is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Set A is equal to 4, 8, and 12. And B is equal to 2, 10, and 12. List set A complement intersection B. So before we can list that, let's first and foremost find out what is A complement alone and what is B alone. B alone, not B complement, but B alone. So A complement means everything that is outside A. Or rather, everything that is part of the universal set but not in set A. So our A has 4, 8, and 12. So A complement will be everything found in the universal set, but not found in A. So in A, we have 4, 8, and 12. So we are going to remove these from the universal set, and that should give us our A complement. That is 2, 6, and 10. And 10. That is our A complement. Our B, our B is 2, 10, and 12. The question tells us that we should list A complement intersection B. This should be, now we are comparing A complement, which is that one, and B. So what do we have in common between A complement and set B? Already we can see two there, it's common. And we can see 10 there, it's also common. And there is nothing more that is common, so our answer is just Having done that, we've answered our second part, and that marks the end of the set questions that came in 2017, paper one, internal. Quickly, let's move together to the 2017 paper one GC questions under sets. Come with me. The first question under paper one GC sets question says, on the Venn diagram in the answer space below, Shape the region defined by A complement intersection B union C. Shade the region defined by A complement intersection B union C. So this is our A, that's our B, that's our C, the universal set here, and so let us share that. First of all, let us share a complement. After sharing a complement, we are going to share B union C. And where the shading, we are going to use lines. Where the lines which are representing the shading of A complement and the lines representing the shading of B union C complement are meeting or overlapping that should indicate or rather show us the area where 
A complement intelligent B, you will see, is going to be formed. So we're not going to draw the lines using the actual Venn diagram in the answer space. We're going to come up with a small mini Venn diagram. And the purpose of this small diagram is to just help us with the shading. And then we are going to transfer the answer to the actual uh, Venn diagram in the answer space. So first and foremost, shared A complement. So this is our A. A complement means shared everything outside A. So we are going to shed everything outside A. Everything outside A. So that's everything outside A. We have our A over here. That's everything outside A. Our B, our C rather, sorry. Our C is there. And our B is there. Now, let's shed B. Union C. B union C. B union C is here. Pa. 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 In that way. So let's shade it. That is our B union C. After having shaded in this manner, we notice that this area here, coming like this, Let's see. this area here, This area here is where the lines are overlapping the A complement and the B. So this area here going to the other side like that. That is where the lines are overlapping. Therefore, this area here is what represents A complement intersection B and C. And therefore, we are going to draw it uh, on our Venn diagram. So that area is literally just this. That is our area which needs to be shaded. Having done that, let's move on to our second question. And the second question says, given that E is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This is the universal set. And then we have our set A. Set A is 1,8. And our B is uh, equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. List A, union B, complement. List A, union B, complement. Let's be able to know what is A, union B on its own. Let's list A, union B. A, union B is everything in A combined with everything in it. That will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 
That is our A union B. So for us to find A union B complement, we use the formula universal set minus A union B. Therefore, our answer is going to be remove everything that is in A union B from there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's remove them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What do we remain with in the universal set? There is nothing. We remain with an empty set. Therefore, our A union B complement will be an empty set. That's all. That is our answer. Thank you so much for following. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.